if you constantly live in the moment and you never think what if, then you're never really gonna improve because improvement in general, progress in general starts with that question. Well, what if? What if it was better? What if it was more? What if I could be more generous? What if I could be more appreciative? What if I could uh, have more freedom in my career or more financial freedom? What if? Because getting your house in order and getting your life in order and your finances in order and your career in order starts with that question, what if? If you're a business owner, you have to ask what if all the time. So really, this is a question I want to wrap us up by thinking about like, are you balanced? Where's the balance at? I met Paul Daly for the first time um, probably about a year, year and a half ago. Um, but I had been hearing about him for years previous. So when I first started Good Monster, my marketing agency, I had no experience in marketing other than trying to grow my own online business. So SEO, website development, things like that. And as I was growing Good Monster, you know, I was making connections with other marketers and other agencies in the area. And I kept hearing this guy's name. Um, people would say like, oh, you know Paul Daly? Oh, have you met Paul Daly? And I was like, no, no, I keep hearing his name though. Um, they're like, yeah, he's he's built this really successful company and um, he's he's he sold that and is now, you know, moving over into the creative um, marketing business. And I was like, oh, cool. Very awesome. I got to meet him. And I just, you know, our paths never crossed. Um, and even though we were running similar businesses, um, we were never really competitors. You know, we were, we were never really looking at the same clients. You know, we had different industries where we were kind of focusing in. And um, so I always look forward to, to meeting him. His previous company was a, an automobile um, rim refurbation company. Basically, the company was called Rim Doctor, and and uh, they would they would do like an on-site rim, you know, repair, right? So when like a dealership got a used car in, if it, the rims were all messed up and scuffed and things like that, they wanted to like repair them to make them look nicer, increase the value of the car. And so they'd call Rim Doctor and, and they would go and, and do powder coating and things like that. So he sold his business, a really successful business, which he grew from just himself um, working in a, in a garage to a bunch of people traveling all over upstate New York, you know, working for dealers. Um, and so he, he grew this and, and, and ended up selling it um, uh, and, and started this agency um, called Congruent. And man, I have seen some of the work that they've put out and it is some of the best video production work um, and creative marketing <laughs> that I've ever seen. Um, and, and we do it every day at Good Monster. So, so that's, you know, that's saying a lot. So to see what Paul has done for brand, uh, uh, brand identity, both for himself, for his clients, for his agency, and the fact that he used that to grow his previous company has made me respect him as a, as a business builder and a brand builder. But when I met him in person, this is really where I knew he's a dude that needs to talk to the world and the world needs to listen. Um, so I met him uh, at a quick meetup about No Bull before it was really, had really gotten off the ground and he brought him himself, he brought his wife um, and they were adopting a, a new a newborn baby. And so they, they brought the baby. This is pre-pandemic. And I'm like, hey, Paul, great to finally meet you, man. And, and you know, we were talking about the event and, and meeting Gary Vaynerchuk and his background. He's actually met Gary and, and has worked with VaynerMedia before. Um, but we started talking about fatherhood because I was just becoming a, a new father. And he was so much more interested in talking about being a father and and loving that and, and everything that came or came with being a father than he was talking about business. And right then and there, I knew, you know, this, this, this was a really good guy. This was a guy that, um, you know, we needed to have at no bull. We needed to have him teaching. How did you grow your first company? How did you sell it? How did you transition into growing, you know, now a client services company? How did you get to where you are today? And how do you balance that with being a human being? and building a successful life because Paul's done that. And Paul continues to show that he's uh, juggling his own version of success in business and in life. Um, and I cannot wait for people, uh, attendees of Noble Con, to learn from Paul how to 
grow a business from a tactical standpoint? You know, what are the details that you need to know when scaling a company? How do you grow from one person to a bunch of uh, team members who are working out in the field for you? Um, you know, partnering with over 150 dealers to, uh, you know, with contracts and things like that. How do you do all of that? And then how do you do that while balancing a great family life? Um, you know, Paul has, I think, four kids now and a wife. And, you know, he balances that with his businesses. And it's something that I respect immensely. And I think all of us at No Bull Con, as business leaders and business builders can learn a lot from Paul and, and what Paul's doing and apply that to our own business. I'm really excited.